Hey guys, it's me Shane, here to give you another Digimon Adventure 2020 episode review and recap. Today's episode is episode 8, The Children Attack the Fortress. Well, Children Attack on the Fortress, same difference though, right? Well, we're getting a little recap of what happened last time with everybody meeting Joe and then uh, Ikakumon ferrying everyone across the sea. We start this episode as we do most of the episodes with the gang getting in contact with uh, Koshiro. Koshiro is still trying to make his way with Kabuterimon to meet everyone. And he's giving them an update on what's going on. It's kind of funny because with the blackout going on, the markets are getting empty and empty because people are getting up food because of what happened the last time. Kind of sounds familiar, doesn't it? And so as they make their way across, a beam of light strikes the group on, uh, well, strikes a Kakumon and makes everyone goes into the ocean. And they figure out that now that they're getting close to this continent, there's a fortress, and they're being shot upon by Gorimon and Tankmon, and there are two Solarmon, which look like gears. They're basically like, uh, I believe the gear, Digimon's name is uh, Hangurimon. They look the same, but Solarmon are just orange. Uh, they're shining a light, kind of blinding people and giving Gorimon uh, sight in order for him to put his crosshairs on them and shoot on them well they meet up with Tai's old friend Yamato Yamato brings him to the side and, and pulls him away from the situation and gives him the lowdown on what's going on they can't get through unless they disable well more or less stop Gordon from shooting on them but more or less they need to just take everyone out in this uh in nearly impenetrable forces so, while Joe is still trying to be uh, the adult and trying to think about things rationally, uh, Yamato tells Ty, you just watch everybody. I don't need any dead weight. We're just going to go forward. And Gabumon gets the Agumon treatment when it comes to Digivolving. It's a whole little 3D sequence and it shows him filling out. It looks really good. It looks really nice. So, it's good to know that there are two main character Digimon. Because everyone else just gets, well, we're digivolving, here they are. So, uh, I guess most of, most of this episode with this recap is just, they're going through trying to support Yamato. Because, uh, like I said before, Joe, trying to be the rational thinking, grabs a towel, tries to wave a, right, a white flag. But these Digimon aren't having it. And if you pay attention close enough, you can see the Soundbird Mon. So we're gonna we're probably led to assume that Soundbirdmon has manipulated these Tankmon and Gorimon and Solarmon to attack the children on site. And now that uh, Joe has waved the wife a uh, white flag, it gave Ty enough it gave Ty enough time to say, you know what? I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna support them. So while Mimi Palmon, who saves Joe from getting shot, by the way, Joe and Goemon on the beach just getting the attention of the tank mod. Matt is behind a rock. He says, okay, they're giving me a moment. So he goes forward. When they finally get to the gate, they see that uh, as it goes down, it's Dark Tyrannomon, another Digimon. So I count, not four, not four, but three. Oh no, there's four. Tankmon, Gorimon, Dark Tyrannomon, and of course Solomon. There's four new Digimon. It's amazing that they're actually showing more new Digimon as, as opposed to just one per episode, but like back in the day. Pretty cool. Anyway, it's Dark Tyrannomon, Sora, and Bergamon appear to take care of him. And, you know, Yamato's kind of taking it in that everybody's helping him. Tai says, come on, let's go. Tai, Agumon, Yamato, and Garurumon make their way towards the tower. Ty and a now Digivolved Greymon take care of uh, getting the attention of the Solarmon. Gorimon kind of trying to figure out who to shoot. Matt is not sorry. Matt Yamato is looking back at everybody, and you know everybody's locking eyes with him, kind of smiling like you know, come on, you got this. We're gonna do this. Even Joe has like a uh, a pained smile. But he's like you know, we're all doing our part. Yamato gets. The power of friendship gets a boost. Uh, Garumon gets a boost. They outspeed Gorimon. Take him and the Solarmon out. 
once they take out everything on, at that point, the tank mon are down, Gorimon and Solomon are, I guess, dead. I mean, it looked like he blew them up. And uh, with Garu, not Garudamon, sorry, with Bergamon uh, taking on Dark Tyrannomon, Greymon comes in, gives him the show to tackle, and they dump him into the sea. Now they finally got him through to this place, and they make their way inside, and inside they see another tablet. Ty takes out the Digivice, the new Digivice that they have, which look nothing like the old ones, mind. Much more simpler design, probably good for selling the Digivices of those as toys or V-pads. Anyway, he gets to the tablet, much like he did back on the Holy Digimon area. He touches the tablet, and... The Digivice is given the ability to read it, and he says, this is about the Holy Digimon. And then we kind of get a fade to, well, just a fade to black into the credits. So, uh, and for the uh, next episode, we're going to get an ultimate. Like, episode 9, we're getting the ultimate Digimon. This means that, uh, I guess, if Devimon, and, well, if and when, because we saw the silhouette of him, I believe, in episode 5 or 6. I'm sorry, five or four. When Devimon shows up, he might be stronger than the Ultimate, which would explain a lot, actually. And we're going to see an Ultimate, which I believe is Metal Tyrannomon, because I am a Tyrannomon fan, as well as a Greymon fan, but I know all their, I know most of, if not all of their forms. So the head's going to show up, and I'm wondering if we're going to get Koshiro showing up and all of them attack together, or if we're going to get Metal Greymon. He already showed up during the not the not the beginning, but the uh, the intro, you know, the intro with the theme music and everything. So, who knows? So, what can I say about this? <sighs> I really appreciate that there was a full episode full of action. It, I know, I don't know if it was meant to feel like a turning point episode, but it was really nice to see, even though Koshiro isn't there yet. It's nice to see most of them all together in this one space. And, like, they're not all spread apart and someone's trying to find someone else. And it's really nice to see that we're further developing or introducing their personalities. You know, Mimi is sad about the towel being shot and burnt up. The problem was like, well, technically that was Sora's. You know, Sora's still the mom-like character, having extra stuff. Ty is very much the leader. Matt is also very much the person that they can rely on. If I was to put it in, in Ranger terms, he's the sixth guy, right? Haha, uh -huh, because he technically is the sixth guy, right? And Joe is just trying to think things rationally, but he steps up when he has to. It's really nice to see that. It's really nice to see the relationship with their Digimon. It feels very organic. It's really nice that we're getting more than one or two new Digimon per episode when we're doing stuff like this. Oh, also, I gotta tell you, Ogremon's gonna get his rematch against Greymon. So, let's see if Greymon can still kick his butt. So, out of... Let me just double check now. Because I don't have a lot of notes on this. I do, I will say, when they're going across the sea in the background, I thought it was my computer, but it really wasn't. You can see in the horizon on the sky, like, little breaks. Like, you see digital lines. And I love that touch on the digital world. Like, it, it is a mirror of the real world. And it's the deepest part of the net. But I can appreciate that they're reminding you. It's still a digital place. This is still made up of data. A lot of this stuff will have the data running through it. Um... Yeah, uh, I think another good thing they're doing is, aside from one of the things, especially from watching the dub of the original Digimon uh, Season 1, as we call it over here in America, I'm glad there's not a lot of bickering amongst the kids, because it seemed like there was a lot of bickering before, especially when trying to figure out what to do. And I can appreciate them showing how each of them is different in character and in personality. Especially, you can tell... Because Yamato does apologize for calling everyone dead weight later on. You can still tell that he shoulders a lot of burden. Because he may have said that. Much like a certain character from Devil May, Cry, Devil May Cry 5 who said it to a certain protagonist. I can tell he really didn't feel that way. 
He just didn't want everybody to get hurt, which is a, a total Yamato thing to do. So, all in all, uh, I've been giving, I believe I've been giving them four, between four and threes. This one definitely gets a four. It's not like ultimate, ultimate great five, but it's, it's a four. You can, if your attention will not be diverted away from what you're watching. And you will definitely pay attention and you would definitely say, wow, these are some interesting things they're fighting. And this is great to see them all fighting and doing their part together. So out of five again, it's getting a four. So I'm actually I'm getting very satisfied. I'm seeing more Digimon and the story's progressing nicely, even though at some points, like when we see Omnimon in episode two and we're going to see an ultimate in episode nine, it may feel like they're rushing it. But they are giving, I feel like they're they're giving us little touches here and there. Saying like, oh, you know, Omnimon is a miracle. They had to do a miracle because they're going against this really strong thing from Jump. And I believe that we're going to have a legitimate reason on why we're going to see the next stage within the first nine episodes. And I think now, the series now, is less about when are they going to transform and what they're going to turn into. It's more of okay, how fluid are they as a team? You know, how in touch are they with their emotions enough to say, okay, I trust you, you trust me, I'm not going to give up on you, and then they get the power to change. So, personally, I hope they keep showing more new Digimon. I hope this never gets to a point where it's just like one per episode, and I hope we get more episodes like this where it is just like action almost from the get-go it's 23 minutes of an episode so i say maybe three three to six was with talking that's fantastic that most of this episode was action so guys let me t tell me what uh, you think about the episode in the comment section below did you like it did you enjoy it i really hope you're enjoying this series as much as i am please remember to like comment subscribe hit the notification bell please feel free to share this video amongst your friends who like anime and like digimon remember be good be blessed i'll see you next time